Hi, Good Shepherd. A lot of you have been asking where you can listen to my new song, Calvary. So I'm going to play it for you at the end of this video. The song was born out of Above and Beyond in my own spiritual journey to consider how I can give my very best to the God who's been so extravagantly generous towards me. I'm excited about the weekend of March 12th and 13th because our congregation will get to make commitments on how we are growing in our generosity towards God. Leading up to that weekend, we wanted to make sure that you had all the information and the tools that you needed to make your commitment. So before I share the song with you, I want to briefly lift up a couple of important resources. The first one is our weekly worship handouts. And on the back of the handout, there's a generosity pathway, which illustrates four steps or four ways that we can grow in generosity. The first step is first time giver. That's where God's Holy Spirit moves in our heart for the very first time to give to God through his local church. The second step is intentional. This is where we become intentional about what we give and how regularly we give. Something that helps my wife and I be intentional is our online giving. With this, we can plan and set it up so that God gets our first and our best every week. The third step is tithing. Here we come to a point in our spiritual journey where we want to honor God's command to bring him back a tithe or 10% of everything we receive, 10% of our income. And I'll tell you, I have never met a person who made the decision to tithe who doesn't have amazing stories of what God's been doing in their heart and in their life through generosity. It's these experiences that motivate us to move to even more extravagant levels of generosity where we deepen our trust in God's provision and expand our giving to build God's kingdom and impact the world like never before. At the core, this journey is a journey of spiritual growth. And through our generosity, we believe God is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. And this is what we highlight in our Above and Beyond booklet. Hopefully you've had a chance to pick one of these up, read through it, I want to point out a few neat features of the booklet. If you turn to the very back, the appendix lists some incredible things that God has been able to do through the generosity of our church through the Last Beyond initiative. There's also a pie chart showing how we steward the resources that God blesses us with. If you have more questions, please let us know. Good Shepherd is transparent about our finances, and so we'd be happy to sit down with you and go through more details of our budget. On pages four and five, there's a fun little snapshot of our church today. It shows some numbers and growth and ministries that we are praising God for. Then on pages six and seven, you will find the goals for above and beyond. These are the big exciting things we believe God is calling us to do over the next two years of ministry together. The goals emanate out of our vision statement to reach and transform spiritually distracted people so we all love and serve God. Our goals include kids, marriage and family, adults and seniors, needs in our community, needs around the world, what we can do with our facility, and what we can do beyond 1310. This is a huge initiative and it's going to take all of us giving our very best so that we can live into the vision that God has given to our church. On the front of the weekly worship handouts, we've been given some spiritual tips, some practical tips on how we can come to a decision about what God is calling us to give. You can find all of these handouts by visiting the homepage of our website. And this is leading us towards the weekend of March 12th and 13th, where our church will make commitments about how we are growing in our generosity towards God. Toward the back of the Above and Beyond booklet, you'll see a sample of a commitment card. There's a line for our current giving, a line for our expanded giving, times two for the two years. There's a spot to put a launch gift that will help kickstart above and beyond. Add the two of those together, and that is our total commitment. And I hope you know that your pastoral team would never ask you to do something that we are not willing to do ourselves. And so on Friday, February 26th, your pastors, along with several other leaders from the church, were the first to make our commitment to God for above and beyond. It was one of my top defining spiritual moments with Good Shepherd so far. 
It was so neat to have my wife, my eight-year-old son, my two-year-old daughter with me as we brought our commitment card and placed it on the altar as an act of worship before our extravagantly generous God. It was such a cool moment and I can't wait for all of you to have those kind of moments on March 12th and 13th. And so to encourage you, to inspire you, I want to share with you my song, Calvary. Okay. 